So this is reproduced wallpaper original to the 1950s house that stood on this site. We scanned it digitally and digitally cleaned it and then had it reproduced by Spoonflower.com. This is really great stuff. It comes in the mail um, already the back and you just you just hang it just like regular wallpaper. But this is original 1950s reproduction. At the time it was uh, Brunswick and Fields or Scala Madre was probably the company that made this that they apparently were responsible for most of the wallpaper like this in, in the 1950s. This is a really great touch for this house because it's the same wallpaper for the 1950s house that stood on this site before that was demolished and now it's back up again. Alright, so we're putting on wallpaper. Um, the tools that we're going to be using are uh, these putty knives to hold things in place while you're cutting wet wallpaper, the smoothers, wallpaper knife, and scissors. Uh, we're going to show how to get around irregular objects and also have just how to cut in general. So, uh, to, great way of doing a... Okay, so you just hold the putty knife against the wet wallpaper for the edge and then you cut with the wallpaper knife. And that holds it into place. It's a great way of doing this. And the whole piece should come off. And then you can come in and tuck it into place. Very flat and very smoothly. Okay, that's a nice edge. This is a this is an irregular surface, so we're going to we're going to be cutting a profile with the scissors. The basic idea is you kerf it as close as you can to the uh, to the, the profile and then you cut it with the uh, combination of putty knife and wallpaper knife and we'll be demonstrating that in a minute. All right so you see this profile so we're going to leave some extra room but we're going to cut it across to where we think the, as close as we can to the edge. And that'll make this a lot easier to, to handle. It's pretty floppy right now. But we, you put some extra in there and then you just cut to the edge of the object and then you can, you can deal with it a lot better. Um, okay, cut. okay, so you see I've kind of trimmed it with the scissors uh, you trim it some more and just get a little bit clo closer each time to this little profile. Um, and then you, once you're get, getting really good and close in there, you can really trim the excess. And uh, it starts to fit better and better each time. Okay. And then... okay. Here we are with this detail. And we're just going to do, we're going to cut along this detail. We've cut it down with the scissors up until this point. But then you get in close, and that takes care of these little details. See, it comes right off, and there you have it. It's a really nice flat. And then you do the same with this profile. You just get in there close, cut as best you can, hold, holding it with the metal uh, putty knife, and it comes off, and then you get a complex shape out of it. Okay, so we're going to be cutting this profile now. As you can see, I've already started cutting this to relieve the pressure. So you get close to the edge, and then you cut off the excess with leaving some. So you get this out of your way. And then we'll come back in with the with our tools and uh, make this profile, cut, cut this profile to fit. There you have it. Fully hung. 1950s reproduced wallpaper not a bad job <laughs>